How's it going patrons? Thought I'd just share with you a couple of jobbies I knocked off this afternoon. I uh, finished off taking the doorway out of the hoop house area here. I just got another couple of posts I got to take out, uh, just the three down that side and the one in the centre over the back there. Uh, the other thing I did was bury a load of scraps. We had some coffee sca saved up and other bits and pieces. And what I did was I um, dug a hole right in the middle of this IBC tray, or underneath the IBC tray that is, and I popped in some veggie scraps and some coffee grounds as well as some prawn scraps or shrimp scraps from last night's surf and turf meal. And then on top of that I emptied in all the um, scraps from the jade perch harvest. I uh, mainly just, it looks like it's just fat mainly, uh, with a couple of heads thrown in as well. Um, these are a very fatty fish so that all went in there and I put some coffee grounds over the top and just covered it up with the soil and then just put this IBC tray over the top and pop the plants back on mainly so we don't get any visitors to the patch deciding to dig it up and roll around in it I know our poodle on the farm used to love digging up offal that dad had buried and rolling around in it uh, so I just pretty much all have done that this afternoon and moved some of these other pouches around those guys there will be used for growing potatoes over the back the two the um, 15 and the 10 gallon uh, black pouches and those others I'm just going to save the soil from this one here as well and I've still got the sweet potato pouch from over there as well um, I'm just going to make up a new soil mix maybe a little bit more free draining with some perlite and we'll pop in some ginger and other bits and pieces into some other pouches I did find that with the rain we had the other day um, it took ages for this tray to dry out and I started to get a bit of a funky anaerobic smell so something I might have to um, keep an eye on coming into um, summer, um, our wet season, that we don't have a situation where there's too much water in here sitting all the time because I've noticed since that's happened we've lost a lot of the uh, green pigment out of the banana leaves. So just something for me to keep an eye on. Also brought over my little uh, carrot flower stand. There's a load of um, ladybugs or lady beetles walking around on this just before. Managed to get a little bit of video to post to um, Instagram and that. There's one of them there. So they're just uh, wandering around and knocking off some aphids. But they do have rather spectacular flowers. And all of them have this little red dot right in the centre. I'm trying to work out if it's just a single little red flower. I actually thought it was something from the Callistum and all the bottle brush tree to begin with. But all of them seem to have it. Oh, that one there doesn't. This one down there has it. And this one up over in here. Where are we? It has it as well, so I thought that was interesting. Uh, funnily enough, this top flower is absolutely crawling with aphids. So I've noticed, I'll get you in focus, noticed a lot of ladybug larvae in there the, over the last couple of days, but I can't find any at the moment, so I don't know what's going on there. But yeah, as a flowering plant, as a, to bring beneficials in, it does a great job. I've also noticed a lot of hoverflies around there as well. I'm pretty sure I've shown you this one before when it was over in the other bed. So there you go, just a bit of a look at a pretty carrot flower. Just down in this tray here, if my phone will focus, I will be keeping that um, eggplant and I cut back the Okinawan spinach that was in that pouch. I'm actually thinking about giving that one away to the next person who asks because I have this one over here in this IBC that's going really well. Um, still got a couple in the aquaponics and the one in the old ginger barrel behind the lime trees taken off. So anyway, that's a bit of a um, what I've been up to today. Um, I suppose I better go and pick up Maya. She's helping a grandmother at the moment rip up carpet. I might as well give you a bit of a look at these little ladies as well. These um, guys have been fairly busy. They're a little bit slow now this afternoon because it is cooling down a bit. It's about four or five o'clock in the afternoon, so they'll start to shut up shop for the night, I think. And I still haven't gotten rid of that sweet potato soil. <laughs> so that'll go in that big pile that I was talking about with all the rest of it and turn into potting soil for something else. But anyway, I'll let you folks go. Hope you're all well and happy, and I'll catch you online. Cheers. I just counted four ladybugs on this flower. So I had to film it as well. Three there, and one over the back. So there you go, folks. I will let you go now. Cheers all. Have a good one.